Hello everyone, I am Mili Trividi from LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology and uh, today we will learn about post transmissibility as well as isolation used for generally the vibrating system. So let us start our topic. Uh, for this topic, you have to remember your force bell vibration system. So, as you see in this diagram, there is a mass. So, mass is of uh, any kind of machine uh, you can consider. This mass is uh, balanced on spring as well as the damping. Uh, damp the damping, in this kind of damping, you can assume any viscous damping or uh, uh, coulomb friction you can assume. So, right now, for our instant, we have to assume only the mass. This mass contain any of the machine having spring as well as the damping coefficient C. So, as you know, the spring it contains some stiffness, and the equation of stiffness is forced by displacement and damping coefficient which contains the damping force. So, it means it is forced by velocity. Now in this case, if any force will tend to apply on the system and that force is F0 psi omega t, by the application of this force, any mass, this mass will move towards downward direction as you see in this diagram. Okay, so now let us consider with respect to the force application system, if external force will tend to apply downward direction which is F0 sin omega t. The total reaction uh, in mass as well as spring and in damper will be in the opposite direction of, uh, by the application of force. So, if force is acted in a downward direction, all the reactions or the inertia will be in the opposite direction uh, by the application of force. So, here mx double dot, cx dot and kx all three forces will tend to act in the upward direction. F0 sin omega t in a downward, mx double dot, cx dot and kx all three inertia as well as external forces will be in the upward direction. Okay. Now, let us solve this uh, in our uh, x and y axis, if we assume our forced uh, vibration, damped vibration theory. So, in that the theory, we have already learned about all these forces. So, let us draw the diagram same as the force damped vibration. So, first of all, we have to draw the F0 force. Second force is m omega square x. If you have studied about the force damped vibration, you uh, know this. Uh, that the force tends to act in this system with m omega square x and having the angle at sine omega t minus phi. It means the angle of inertia force should be omega t minus phi. Okay. Now let us have our damping force. So the value of damping force is c omega x and this c omega x is perpendicular to m omega square x. Hence we draw in this manner. Now Kx is again perpendicular with C omega x and which is parallel to M omega square x. Okay. So, here there is a diagram. Now, if you see this diagram, F0 is the external force. M omega square x is the inertia force. So, which are the forces we are considering as the external forces? So, here none other than damping force as well as spring force. Okay. So, if we uh, want to consider how much force is transmitted to the system, then we have to consider that only with respect to the damping coefficient as well as spring stiffness or with the help of a damper and a spring, the force is completely transmitted to the base. Okay. So, only two forces are responsible for the transmission. So, here C omega x and kx are responsible for the force transmission. Okay, so now let us draw the triangle based on c omega x and kx. As you see in this diagram, they both are perpendicular to each other so that we will get the rectangular triangle. So, let us have the triangle c omega x and kx. Let us join uh, with respect to our equilibrium method as we have already studied in our previous semesters. So, here C omega x acted in a downward direction, kx acted 
in the left hand side direction so that FD will tend to act uh, in a closing side. Okay. So let us have this triangle. Now if you see clearly, uh, it is visible that there is the angle alpha between Kx and Ft and this is known as the leg angle. Okay, so now let us draw the same uh, diagram in our previous uh, uh, figure. So it is Ft and will represent the alpha angle. So as you see in this diagram, phi is the phase angle and alpha is the leg angle. So if we want to find out phase leg angle, we have to do phi minus alpha. Okay, we will see what will be the equation of phi minus alpha in the later on. Let us solve the triangle C omega x, kx and ft. If you want to solve this, it is very clear that we can solve this equation by Pythagoras. So, ft is equal to under root of kx square plus C omega x whole square. Okay, now in this case, we can see that we can common out the x value, x square value, but there is a root, hence x value will be common out. So here ft will be equal to x under root of k square plus c omega square. Okay. Now if we want to again common out the k value then what we will get. So here let us check. We will get x into k under root of we can write in this form k square plus c omega whole square by k square. Why k square? Because it is inside the root. Okay. So now let us solve this equation further. So here this equation can be written as ft is equal to x into k under root of 1 plus c omega by k whole square. Now how, uh, what should be the value of c omega by k? So c omega by k we can write as 2 zeta omega by omega n or simply 2 zeta r square. Okay, so that we can write ft in another form also. Now let us solve this ft equation and uh, having a different solution for this. So let us have ft is equal to x under root of k square plus c omega whole square. Let us put the x equation in our, uh, in our equation. So what is the standard x equation? So it is f0 by k upon under root of 2 zeta omega by omega n whole square plus 1 minus omega by omega n square whole square. Now this equation, uh, this is a very familiar equation for you. So you have to put this equation. Now check this. In this case, we have to divide this by f0 by k. We have to take this. Okay. So now k value will be divided in the sizes. So here ft is equal to f0 upon 2 zeta omega by omega n whole square plus 1 minus omega by omega n square whole square. So what did we do in this equation? We divide our under root of k square plus c omega whole square with this k which is divided with the f0. So if we divide the k square plus c omega whole square by k square we will get 1 plus 2 zeta omega by omega n whole square as in this form. Okay. So now let us have the ft by f0 equation, it is under root of 1 plus 2 zeta omega by omega n whole square upon under root of 2 zeta omega by omega n square plus 1 minus omega by omega n square whole square. Now let us put, instead of omega by omega n, we have to put r. So here ft by f0, we will get as 1 plus 2 zeta r whole square upon under root of 2 zeta r whole square plus 1 minus r square whole square. Okay, what is r? It is the velocity ratio. You can say it as a frequency ratio also because in some cases uh, we consider as omega and omega n as natural angular frequencies. Omega n as natural angular frequencies. So r you can say as a frequency ratio or as a velocity ratio, both are correct. Now here, that is the equation of f t by f0. So this equation can be considered as pr. And what is tr? It is known as transmissibility ratio. If we are considering the forces itself, so it is known as force transmissibility ratio. Okay? So this is a transmissibility ratio. You can say as a force transmissibility ratio or simply force transmissibility Okay, in this case, what is Ft? 
it is force transmitted to the system and what is F0? It is the force tends to act on the system. And what is the equation? Under root of 1 plus 2 zeta r whole square upon under root of 2 zeta r whole square plus 1 minus r square whole square. Okay? So this is our equation. You have to note down in your notebook and have to remember because it is useful for solving our numericals. Okay? So now this is the theory of transmissibility ratio. Now let us solve this equation. It is having C omega x value and kx value and ft because of the equilibrium condition we can find out the ft vector. So now if you see kx and ft will make alpha angle in between. Okay this is known as leg angle. So here let us solve the leg angle. For solving the leg angle we have to say 10 alpha is equal to C omega x by kx. Now x can be cancelled out. Hence, what we can write? 10 alpha is C omega by k. Now, if you want to find it out, what is C omega by k value? It is 2 zeta r. Okay? And now alpha is 10 inverse 2 zeta r. Let us solve the phase lag angle. So it is pi minus alpha. So it is 10 inverse 2 zeta r upon 1 minus r square. Because phi angle is 10 inverse 2 zeta r upon 1 minus r square. Okay. Let us put the alpha answer at there. So it is minus 10 inverse 2 zeta r. Okay. So this is the phase lag angle. Student in the numerical, uh, this kind of uh, question generally asked like find out the lag angle or phase lag angle. So that in that case, if there is the force transmissibility, you have to find both of these angles. Okay. Now, let us have vibration isolation. In this case, as we consider, first of all you have to understand what is isolation. So to isolate means it will spare apart any system. It means to isolate the system. Now in this case, isolation is provided in the form of foundation or in the form of rubber bags or in the form of uh, putting some springs uh, uh, downwards the machines. But in our case, what is vibration isolation? So vibration isolation, it means we have to provide the isolation. But why we need to provide the isolation to the system? As we all know, machining having so many rotating as well as reciprocity or oscillating parts. If there is any motion inside the system, then uh, with respect to that motion, imbalance forces are generated. Due to that imbalance forces, the vibration is automatically generated with respect to the machines. Now, the vibration of the machine are transmitted. Okay, the vibration of the machines are transmitted to the foundation or to the different parts of machines itself. The different parts of the machine itself. Okay, so if we do not provide any isolation to the particular machine, the machine will not protect at all. Hence, what we have to do, why we need to put the vibration isolation? We need to put the isolation to the machine because we want to prevent our delicate machines due to the uh, vibration or the failure caused due to the vibration. Hence, we have to prevent the uh, our delicate machines by the failure. And the second one, to prevent, prevent our vibratory forces generated by the machine. Hence, we need to transmit it to the base or to the foundation. So for the transmission and for the prevention of our machines, we have to put vibration isolation to the system. Now let us check the types of isolation materials. As I have already told you that we have to put the rubber pads uh, downwards to the machine, we have to put it. And uh, or uh, we have to put the felt material or we can use the cork as well as metal. Springs. If we see our mechanical and automobile system, we are rarely using felt and cork material because they are not uh, so much uh, uh, so much capacity to absorb the vibration. But rubber pad as well as metallic spring having the tremendous capacity to absorb the vibrations. Hence, they are considered as isolating materials. 
and generally largely they are used in industries. So the use of a rubber as you clearly know because you have already studied the rubber material and all and as you study about metallic spring in your previous semesters so here metallic spring will resist the vibration and can reduce the amplitude of the system okay and rubber will reduce the amplitude as well as the velocity of the material hence we are using this kind of vibration material. Okay. In case of a rubber, we are using generally synthetic rubber, uh, which is a combination of a natural as well as some polymers. And uh, in a metallic spring, generally we are using generally we are using the helical spring. Okay. So these are the types of isolation material, basically for rubber, felt core, and metallic spring. I think it is very clear for you. Now, first of all. You have to understand that if there is the external force that is to apply on the system frequently, it means if it is the forced damped vibration system, then what will happen to the machine? It will have to absorb all the forces. It means vibration is generated inside the system. This vibration, vibrational forces are transmitted with the help of spring as well as the damper toward the towards the base okay so that we have to consider applied force as f0 and transmitted force as t okay and this transmission uh, is reduced this force transmission is reduced by rubber or providing some isolated material okay thank you so much